Getting around Baltimore is easy as one, two, three. Whether you're moving in and around the Baltimore area or relocating, welcome, be rest assured you're going to be able to get from point A to point B. You got to know where you're going, but more importantly, you got to know how you're getting there. There is an abundance of public transportation. Jump with me to the other side and we shall explore public transportation throughout the Baltimore area. I know we've met, but if not, my name is Mark and my Baltimore accent is unmistakable. Here's how you can get around my beloved Baltimore. Whether you want to travel by land, air, or water in the Baltimore area, Baltimore's transportation has you covered. The Maryland Transit Administration, MTA, has local bus, mark train, light rail link, metro subway link, and commuter bus services that run throughout the entire city for all your travel needs. A great transportation option in Baltimore is the Charm City Circulator with free shuttles downtown that connect you to other MTA stations and the Baltimore Metro subway. For commutes to work, or weekend getaways, Baltimoreans can easily depart from Penn Station or the Baltimore Washington International Thoroughgood Marshall Airport. It's only 15 minutes outside of Charm City. Let's take a look though, let's dive deeper into the options at your disposal. The public transportation in Baltimore is excellent. It's easy to take for granted. The MTA bus service has more than 60, 60 bus routes, which include high frequency city link, local link, express bus links, routes, which operates from various suburbs from downtown Baltimore. The fares, please, they're more than affordable with single passes at approximately $1.80 and day passes right around $4.20. Keep in mind though, that buses, they're gonna require exact change, but there's an option. You can purchase weekly pass for $20 that allows unlimited travel from 12 a.m. Sunday to 3 a.m. the next Sunday, or you can consider purchasing a $10 charm card. It's just a plastic rechargeable public transportation ticket uh, that affords you convenience and not having to worry about you know, supplying exact change. Plus it's easy to add extra fare at any of the MTA ticket vending machines. It's convenient. If you're just bebopping around for the day, check out the free Charm City Circulator buses that run every 10 to 15 minutes and offer service to the top city attractions. There are five color-coded circulator routes that weave through top destinations such as Penn Station, Federal Hill, the Inner Harbor, and Fort McHenry in South Baltimore. Check out the Charm City Circulator online for the routes, uh, please. It's awesome, and you're gonna love this. It's free. Another highlight of Baltimore's transportation is the Baltimore Metro Subway Link, and of course, the light rail. The Metro Subway Link runs 15.5 miles and connects 14 stations from Baltimore County and Owings Mills to Johns Hopkins Hospital. Check this out. I took the subway every single day for two years to the University of Baltimore and I loved it. It's efficient, gave me time to read, study, sleep. Uh, like I said, it's affordable. Every station on the Baltimore Metro provides additional access to the MTA bus routes and of course the light rail which provides you additional route alternatives. My client, Dr. James, he relocated to the Baltimore area, bought a home, sold him a home, and he purchased, uh, in, like I said, in Baltimore County. He uses a subway to get to his patient at Hopkins every single day, and the good doctor, he loves it. He loves the convenience. The light rail runs 29 miles and connects 33 stations from Hunt Valley, North Baltimore County, to Penn Station, Camden Yards, Oriole Park, to BWI Thorogood Marshall Airport. The light rail has a direct route and it also has a station to station route. And please, it's efficient and it's affordable. I live in Hunt Valley, North Baltimore County and my 17 year old son, Jack, he and his friends, they take the light rail all the time to go check out the O's down at Camden Yards. Needless to say, it's safe. With relocating to any city or just moving about, you have to have ways to travel. That's why we're talking. But you also have to stay organized with that upcoming move. I have an awesome free moving guide down below. Click the link. It's free. It will help keep you organized and keep your insanity. Click it. It's free. Of course, the easiest way around Baltimore area is by car and using our infamous Baltimore Beltway. 
The Beltway, as we call it, is a circular route right around the Baltimore area, and it gives you easy access in and around the greater Baltimore area. Uh, when the weather is inclement, can't say that word, a taxi or car service may be the quickest and easiest option for you. There's a number, number of ride sharing services that are available in the Baltimore area, including, of course, Uber and Lyft. You may also schedule a pickup from a traditional taxi cab, such as Yellow Checker Cab, uh, On Cabs Baltimore, and Z Trip. Every one of those that I mentioned are at your disposal 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Here's an awesome feature about Baltimore and being located on the Patapsco River and the Inner Harbor. We have water taxis to get you about. The Baltimore Water Taxi offers one price for all, unlimited on all service to more than 30, 30 attractions and neighborhoods. If traveling between waterfront neighborhoods, this is the most picturesque and easiest way to get there. Here's another example. Sorry, I got to share. I have clients that purchase, I'm not trying to be a tool, I have clients that purchase homes in Canton and also historic Fells Point and they work at Under Armour in Locust Point. That's South Baltimore. They take the water taxi every single day. They don't have to worry about parking. It's a lifestyle. We're after a lifestyle. And yes, we even have those damn dockless scooters and bicycles. I'm cool with the bikes, but the scooters, they should be thrown in a harbor. They're too much craziness for me. And it's like the wild, wild west. There's no road rules. Damn, I know I sound like I'm old, but I'm telling you, they drive out of control. They're weaving in out of traffic. Every one of them. I know I'm venting, but I feel better. Ha! Electric scooters and sometimes bicycles such as Lime, Bolt, Jump, and Spin are available through the city. For a small fee, you can pick up a scooter wherever you find one and drop it at the destination you go to or drop it in the inner harbor. I don't care. Kidding. Yes, riders are encouraged to wear a helmet and use bike lanes, whatever. You know what to do. Uh, simply download your preferred brands app and plan your route and be ready to go. Look, scooters, I get it. It's walking man's best friend. It's all good. This one to vent. For commutes to work or weekend getaways, Baltimoreans can easily depart from Penn Station or Baltimore, Washington International Thoroughgood Marshall Airport. That's a mouthful. Penn Station is perfect for that trip to New York City or Philadelphia. That's how we do it. Why drive or why fly? If you work in DC, take the Mark train. I know many people that work in DC and they live in Baltimore. They live in Baltimore because it's affordable. That's the main feature here. They take the Mark train, it's a direct line between Baltimore and DC because it's efficient. And there are always, always plenty of safe, secure parking. I've used the Mark train many times to travel to DC for business or just to hang out. Please, we have these things at our disposal and we forget at times. We just want to jump in the car. Public transportation is okay. BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport is only nine miles outside of Charm City and 23 miles from DC. Super easy access from downtown Baltimore and the surrounding greater Baltimore area. There's only though eight to 10 international destinations that are serviced by nonstop flights, but what it lacks in option, BWI makes up for in affordability. That's what we're talking about. Flights from BWI are often cheaper than Washington DC's Reagan or Dulles airports. With budget-friendly Southwest Airlines operating the largest number of flights, BWI is conveniently located, it's affordable, and the access is easy, easy peasy in and out of that airport. You have daily parking, extended parking, such as Fast Park, Fast Park 1, Fast Park 2, that's what I use. And of course they have taxis and ride shares and shuttle services for wherever you need to go. I told you, the public transportation here in Baltimore, it's a plenty and at your disposal. Don't forget my free moving guide down below. Click the link, check it out. And also check out my free things to do in Baltimore video, which is coming up next. If you're out and about, check out Baltimore. There's a lot of free things to do and you're gonna love it. I love you, Baltimore.